Bismillahirrahmani Rahim Assalamu alaikum my name is Asan and today we are going to create Elementor header and display on left side in Elementor Pro WordPress before starting work is for request please subscribe my channel thank you now back to our work so we are using Elementor plugin so we are in Elementor header so now you see plus icon now click on it and then select flex box now select single column now select now remove this so we are going to create single column now click on edit container and now make it width 100% so this is a single column so we are in edit container so we are going to display adder on left side on desktop layout and on mobile layout we are going to display adder on top and then you see section so this is our main section edit container so click on it and then you see content width box now select full width now make it 100% and then you see minimum height now select VH and now make it 100 and then you see style so click on it so we are going to add background color now background type now you can select color scheme according to requirement now you see in layout we set width 100% for section or container and minimum height 100 VH so we are going to display adder on left side for desktop layout and on mobile layout we are going to display adder on top and then we are going to add logo so click on plus so you can add image or logo widget according to your requirement now add image now drag and drop here like this so you can add image now select so this is our logo now select now select alignment left if you want you can set width also so it's up to you now logo added and then we are going to add menu so click on plus icon again in search widget write a menu and then you see wordpress menu so drag and drop here like this so this is our vertical layout now you see menu name menu so you can select your menu here and then you see layout horizontal now select vertical and then select alignment start now you see menu display on vertical ladder or adder on left side and then you see pointer animation so you can do setting according to requirement for menu and then you see mobile drop down breakpoint so on desktop we are going to display menu on left side on mobile we are going to display menu on top now select breakpoint mobile portrait and then you see full width enable this option and then you see text line toggle button so you can do setting according to requirement now scroll up you see style so click on it now you see text color now make it white you see pointer width padding space between our color scheme active color scheme so we added logo and menu so this is for desktop layout now click on content again and then you see breakpoint mobile portrait now on top you see mobile up to 767 pixel so click on it now you see mobile layout now change toggle color so click on style and make it white toggle button but you see vertical light full but first we are going to set logo and menu in line now click on logo again and then you see width so you can set according to requirement and then you see advanced so click on it and then you see width on mobile now select now select custom and then you see pixel now select percentage now make it 50% now select mobile menu and then you see advanced so click on it now you see width for mobile now select custom now you see pixel now select percentage again and now select 50% now you see both widget as 50% width but don't show both widget in line now click on edit container so click on it and then you see direction for mobile row horizontal now select so when we select direction on mobile row horizontal now you see now select mobile menu widget again go to advance now reduce width now you see alignment now both widget display in line now you see toggle widget so click on style and then you see toggle button so you can do styling according to requirement now click on content now make it right now you see alignment good now click on image go to style again now increase width 
so you can do setting according to requirement and then you see main section or main container edit container so click on it and then you see minimum height mobile portrait 100 vh now make it pixel make it zero now you see so this layout display on mobile now expand menu now you see and then click on publish so after that we are going to add custom css now again click on edit section so this is our main container so click on it now go to advanced so we are going to add css class now add css class according to requirement now add left iphone sidebar iphone adder so this is our css class we added in main container or main section so click on publish now publish done go to website page and refresh the page first we are going to check after that we are going to add custom css now you see so this is our layout but you see cover full width on desktop layout now go to customize section and we are going to add css now paste and you will find this css in video description or in comment section and then you see class we are using in container or section left iphone sidebar iphone adder and then you see position fixed top 0 left 0 width 250 pixel so you can add adder left width or sidebar width according to requirement and then you see height 100 vh z index 999 background color don't need because we already added background color using elementor setting if you want you can use custom css for background color and then you see box shadow and then you see body margin 250 pixel now you see left sidebar header width 250 pixel margin left 250 pixel both same so you can add both number same if you want to set width 300 pixel then margin left 300 pixel so both value same and then you see responsive so this css apply on maximum width 1000 pixel left sidebar header width 200 margin left 200 and then you see mobile maximum width 767 and then you see class left sidebar header width 100% now you see we use height auto position relative for desktop we use position fixed and then you see body margin left 0 so you can adjust this number according to requirement and then click on publish now publish done go to elementor page now you see and refresh the page so this is our header sidebar now you see but you don't see logo back to elementor now expand desktop so you can increase size click on publish again so you can set image width according to requirement now publish done go to elementor page again and refresh the page if you want you can add padding also now you see so you can adjust padding so this is our layout now scroll down now you see page layout good so this is our full width content now you see now we are going to activate mobile layout right click on it and then you see activate the mobile view on this page so click on it so this is our mobile layout now you see added display on top now expand menu so this is our menu and this is our logo for mobile layout by using custom css now go to desktop layout now refresh the page now you see layout so you can increase drop down width using custom css so you can do setting in menu according to requirement now go to custom css again now you see maximum width 1000 this css apply on maximum width for mobile 767 so in this way you can create adder on left side in elementor wordpress so this is our vertical adder so I hope you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, thank you for watching.